What is going on, bro? Welcome to the video. You know what? I, I think that that has to be the skid of the year. So, Gains? Bro, you know what? That was the skid of the year, bro. That was sick. Oh, you like that skid right there, huh? Bro, that, that, that edge right there, bro. Your, your outfit is fresh. I like your outfit, bro. She looking fresh. Thank you, thank you. What's going on with this camera though? You filming me or something? What's going on? Oh, it's funny you asked because I'm actually about to film a video about, you know, how to not be shy and insecure and feel nervous when you're talking to one of those really hot girls because, you know, I feel like it's easy if it's a girl you don't really like that much to be confident, but then when it's a girl like you really are interested in, you always just seem to like fumble it up and mess it up and get all weird. Yeah, man, this sucks. That, that shit gets me every time. Let's get started. So when I was working to level up my confidence with girls, I was consuming a lot of dating advice, right? But no matter what tips or techniques I tried, whenever I was face to face or even close to a girl who I really found attractive and I really was interested in her, I would just feel intimidated, like she was out of my league, like I wasn't worthy of her, and then I wouldn't have the confidence to actually talk to her, or if I was talking to her, I would have no confidence and obviously it wouldn't go well. And that in itself was very demoralizing because it was almost like these bad experiences were reinforcing this belief that like, yep, see bro, you're never gonna get a girl like this. It's just not gonna happen. And ultimately the only thing that actually worked and helped me break past this invisible barrier was finding ways for me to put myself in situations that forced me to actually stay calm around girls who I was really interested in. And the most powerful thing was probably going to yoga class. Because you have to realize, yoga class is basically like this active meditation where the entire time you're focused on staying calm, focused on your breathing, keeping your heart rate and your blood pressure down. And it just so happens that while you're doing this, you're in a room, you know, surrounded by fit girls wearing minimal clothing, everyone's sweaty, you're right next to them, and you gotta stay calm. Now, as to be clear, I don't recommend actually picking girls up at yoga class. It's a very much like a spiritual, safe environment. That, that's just not the vibe. But when you repeatedly go there, you know, not only are you next to them in class, but likely you're gonna get into some casual interactions with them on the way in, on the way out. Now, beyond that, and look, I'm not trying to throw shade at Planet Fitness. I know they're talking a little shit from time to time, but if you upgrade to a more premium gym, there's likely to be more premium girls there. If you stopped going to the Value Supermarket or maybe once a week you stop in at Whole Foods to get your, your meats there or something, there's just a lot more opportunities for you to cross paths with more attractive girls. And the point of this, the whole point is that now when you see a girl you really want to talk to is really hot, it's not like, oh my God, the, the gates of heaven opened up and this is why I have one chance. If I don't get it now, you know, I'm fucked. Like you're naturally going to put less pressure on yourself because it feels like a more normal thing. Like it's the whole point of this. You have to desensitize yourself and make it feel normal. So for breakfast today, I had to take Kevin to try something other than breakfast tacos because he's only eaten breakfast tacos since he's landed in Texas. Yeah, this is definitely something new. We both got the sweet potato hash with pork shoulder and a poached egg. It looks pretty good. Mm, 8.7 compared to taco. Honestly, I'm going to say this at 9.5 out of 10. The big problem is that it's already 240 and this is the first thing that I've eaten today. So probably anything would taste good. Another big problem is that there's still a lot of men out there suffering from premature ejaculation and erectile dysfunction. So it's a good thing today's video is sponsored by Roman. Look man, if you're experiencing either of these problems, it's gonna make it very challenging to be confident in the bedroom. And a lot of times it makes you not even wanna put yourself in the position to hook up with the girl. But don't stress about it because Roman's got you covered. If you're struggling with ED, Roman's gonna set you up with a free online visit with a healthcare professional. And if medication's appropriate, they're gonna prescribe it. They're gonna send it to you with free two day shipping in a discreet, unmarked package. No awkward visits to the doctor are required. And if you're struggling to last longer, they also offer Roman swipes, which are super convenient. They fit in your wallet. They're clinically proven to work and they don't even require a prescription. And because Roman is sponsoring today's video, you know that they're hooking it up. If you go to getroman.com slash beast, you're gonna get $15 off your first order of ED treatment. That is getroman.com slash beast, or you can click that first link in the description. Go check it out. All right, so you're starting to put yourself in these situations where there's opportunities to talk to the girls you want to talk to. You know, again, obviously the next step is to actually start to have some conversations with them. Not necessarily pick them up, but have some conversations. And that's 
extremely intimidating. And that's why I wanted to bring in our favorite resident fish, Julia. <laughs> what up guys? It's funny because my sister actually called me yesterday and she was freaking out and she was like, Julia, I was at the gym and I was on a machine and the weight got stuck and she was like putting her foot, trying to pull it off and she said it was super embarrassing. She couldn't get it. She walked away and this guy came up to her after and was like, hey, I saw you were struggling over there and I was gonna come help you but then I would, thought it would be embarrassing if I couldn't get it either. And so they both laughed and he was like, well, enjoy your workout and walked away. And she was telling me, she was like, why didn't he ask me out? Like, should I go back in and talk to him? She was like all flustered. And this is funny to me because this dude did not actually attempt to pick up Hannah, but if he had tried, like he would have been successful, right? And this is actually the biggest game changer I ever learned for my game was when I stopped trying to game girls and tease them or neg them or DHV or do any of this shit. And instead I just like, oh, I'm just gonna have a normal conversation with this girl. I had a lot more success. And I think a lot of it is that you, when you have less pressure on yourself, you actually talk to more girls. And then what, you, what I started to realize is that when I'm talking to a girl, having a normal conversation, usually you can see if there's a vibe. And if there's a vibe, you can be like, hey, you know, you seem like a cool girl. Do you wanna hang out sometime? And if not, or maybe you're not sure and you just pussy out and you don't ask her out, but if you just talk to her in the first place, it's still a win because you still got yourself comfortable talking to attractive girls and it's gonna make you more confident in the future. Now, some good basic like normal conversation starters would be, that was a good example. Something like kind of funny happened and he just made a comment on it. Uh, you know, at the grocery store, a lot of times you can ask for, hey, I know you don't work here, but like, I'm trying to make some guacamole tonight. How can I tell if the avocados or the bananas are, are ripe or something? If you're at the gym, you know, hey, this is random. Uh, uh, what, what song are you listening to right now? I'm trying to find like some new good songs for my gym playlist. It's getting kind of stale. Or you're in the elevator and there's a girl like starting up a conversation about, hey, what floor do you work on or something like that? That's creepy. What? <laughs> hey, what floor do you? Hey, what hey, floor do you? Where do you live? Hey, what office number do you work in? <laughs> what, what cubicle is yours? What time will you be alone? <laughs> now, to state the obvious, like the more attractive you are, the better reactions you're gonna get with the you know the normal conversations. But that's the same with any conversation. And to go on like a really mini rants, you have control over your looks, bro. You don't have control over your genetics, but if you're you know you get a low body fat, you build some muscle, your clothes are gonna fit you better if you're getting clothes that fit you well. And then let's say you get a deliberate hairstyle that complements your head, you're grooming yourself deliberately, and all of a sudden you went from a four to an eight. Like I thought I was ugly for a long time. You can take control of your looks. Gains. Oh, bruh. Workout complete. Julia hit it. On our LeBron shit tonight. He drinks wine. But check it out. Once you once you're even starting to see these opportunities and seize these opportunities, I think I think the next big obstacle for me that I faced was like just running out of things to say. Like I know that I was I was gonna get to that point in the conversation where it was gonna be like 30 seconds in, a minute in, two minutes in. Oh, yeah, um, so then, uh, uh, and the way that I got past this and kind of like unlocked unlimited conversations uh, was really by mastering questions that dig deeper. So questions that require more than a one word answer. Not like, you know, where are you from? What do you do for work? Blah, 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 that's interview mode, but asking what, how, and why. So let's say, you know, we'll take it from the top one time so you see how, my, how this might go. I'm at the gym, I approach this girl, I'm like, hey, hey, excuse me, uh, I know this is random, but but what's your go-to song for the gym right now? I'm, I'm just trying to spice up my playlist a little bit. Monster by Eminem. All right, cool, cool, yeah, I'll, I'll add, this, add that to my playlist, cool, cool. By, by the way, my, my name's David, it's nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Julia, nice to meet you too. I, I see you working out here a lot. You, you're not from Austin though, are you? I'm not, I just moved here actually. Where are you from? I'm from Boston originally. So I started getting there, you know, where are you from? That's, that is a one word answer, but now I dig deeper. Oh shit, what was it like to grow up in Boston? Cold, it was like really rough. Like the winters were terrible, summers were super hot and humid, but I'm super glad to be here. So like, what, what was your go-to activity like during the winter when you couldn't go outside? Ooh. See, another what question that, get, that gets her to expand. I was really into snowboarding, skiing. My parents actually had a house up in the mountains. And now I could dig into in, any of these things right here. Like, oh shit, what's the craziest trick you can do on a snowboard? You guys get the idea. Another super common question that comes up a lot. Oh, so what do you do for work? I'm a veterinarian. 
Oh, that's super cool. I love animals. Well, what's like, what's your favorite thing about that? I'm just getting to work with all different types of animals. What's your favorite animal to work with? That's hard. Um, I really like working with horses. Interesting. And why did you get into like veterinarian? Ah, uh, when I was little, I just like loved animals and I always wanted to help them. So then I decided to internship at a, a hospital and fell in love with you know, working with animals. That kind of covers, you know, where are you from? What do you do for work? Now, you can also just have good questions ready in your back pocket that, that require the girl to think a little bit like, all right, so if you could wake up anywhere in the world tomorrow, where would it be? Ooh, probably Fiji. Fiji, why, why would you be in Fiji? <laughs> I don't know, it just like, looks like a beautiful destination and the beaches and I don't know, it's just like a long way to go, so. Fiji. All right, let's say you're in Fiji tomorrow. What's the first thing you do when you wake up? probably like go jump into the ocean and see it's gonna open people up because you're, now you're also asking them about these things that are personal to them and people i've said this before but the thing that people like to talk about more than anything is themselves and their interests and their passions and people find it it's a weird thing but they've done studies people actually find you more interesting when, when they're talking about themselves more and when you're asking them these questions they just start to open up like a flower and i would also <laughs> recommend that you start practicing this not just with girls because this is a great way just to have you know interesting unlimited conversations with other dudes you know co-workers random people that you meet wherever it is i will say that right now if you're someone who's working to level up your dating life uh, you've probably heard me talk about my beast dating coaching program in the past and i just wanted to let you know that right now we are looking for a few more motivated students to bring into the program and and i know you might be wondering what it's actually like to be part of this program and that's why i want to show you a few clips of some guys who've recently been through it before i joined the program my dating life it was it was dry <laughs> you know it it really has changed my life right now with my dating life i'm going on anywhere from one to three dates a week my social anxiety during approaches is next to non-existent you know now i just feel like i made so much progress and i just want to you know keep going i think probably the main reason that we see such a high success rate is because every single week you have multiple live video coaching calls with myself with julia who has a master's in therapy with the homie dave and some other coaches we brought on and that allows us to personally you know help you get past the obstacles that you're facing and make sure that you know when we give you some advice uh, that you're actually able to implement it and we're basically there to work with you until you're getting the you know the quality of girls that you want anyway if that sounds like something you're interested in you can click the second link down in description to learn more and apply now and on that note thank you for watching the video bro hit the thumbs up button if you made it to the end seriously it helps the channel and i will talk to all of y'all in the next video stay beastly